hear me now? Yes. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Trey. And welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black and White 2 walkthrough. Or just White 2 walkthrough. I really don't care, guys. <laughs> it has been a while since I've actually done a little bit of narrating because the last few episodes that you guys have watched, they were already pre recorded a few uh, weeks ago or so. Yeah. Good old Draven's been busy. So, let's see. In this episode, yes, we are going to be taking on the gym leader right here just to get our fifth badge. And, well, let's see. Homeboy right here is like, challenge of the gym, huh? Nice. Keep getting stronger. Let me tell you, though, Clay's tough. Even if all you have to use is ground types, is water dog Pokemon, you might still be in for the rough uh, fight. Which is kind of true. And, uh, well, speaking of the uh, rough fight, Kinda need to check up on something right here. Okay, so I really don't have that many, uh... Okay, I don't... Yeah, I don't have a lot of healing items. So, what's going to happen right here is I'm gonna fast forward, grab some healing items, and then be back right here because, yeah, uh, good old Dreamin' does not want to come in here all unprepared, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back, and uh, it is finally time for us to go ahead and uh, take on a gym leader. Now, this is actually gonna be the first time I'm coming in here since Pokemon Black, and, uh, well, first time ever in Pokemon White, too. Believe it or not, I have not played this game very much, uh, especially off-screen and all that crud. And, uh, well, it looks like, to me, that it has changed. Now, if you talk to the only man that's ever believed in you, he's gonna be like, Welcome to the Drip Beal Gym. This is for you! Gives us some water. You know, hydration's always key. Gym Leader Clay uses ground-type Pokemon. Well, just between you and me, ground-type Pokemon aren't good against water-type attacks. They also don't like grass or ice type attacks. Oh, and in this jam, the area you walk on will light up. Where you've been in, it, where you've been is a hint for you uh, need to go. Okay, so I really didn't understand that, but we're gonna go. And uh, there is a light right here. And well, okay, that's not much of a light. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. I haven't been training a lot. I haven't been paying attention to any of my stuff right here, guys, because I've been incredibly busy. You guys don't know yes football season has started and your boy Draven right here is in it to win it and as I'm speaking right here right now I'm extremely happy because we won we won we have defeated our rivals now it's time to go to LA and play some team from Arizona and all that stuff so that that right there's gonna be taking a lot of my time right now especially since you know this this does seem like a good year to actually uh, to do things so yeah that's what's been going on guys I know that I've missed two weeks, uh, you know, prior to this whole thing right here. Two weeks, and then I came out with another, another episode, and wait, hold on just a sec, wait, wait, wait. Clay's awesome, he can just tell if minerals are there. Got it? Another way to say Clay, it will be wherever there are oodles of ores. Okay, I did not get that. Alright, so, let's see, we're gonna go right here, we're gonna try and battle, uh, we're gonna try and battle everybody we can right here, guys, because, uh, yeah. Pokemon are dangerously underleveled. I got like two Pokemon at level 30. Desert Storm looks like it's about to evolve. Wait, what level does Desert Storm evolve? Completely forgot. Holy crud, it's been two months to caught you? Holy crud, wow. <laughs> it has been a while. Okay, so let's continue on right here and battle some other Pokemon trainers. Okay, so the one you meet when you get on this conveyor is none other than me. Alrighty then. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, battle the Tavares, or Tavares, or whatever his name is, and he's going to be coming out with a Drill Bird, and uh, we all know what kind of a Pokemon Drill Bird is, so oh, feel the wrath of Sigh of Torrent, or Sigh of the Torrent, with a good old Razor Shell right here, look at that, and uh, there we go, Drill Bird defeated, not happy at all, and uh, well, let's see, coming out with a Ball Toy, now I think, uh, yeah, okay, I do have a Pokemon that can actually beat it, let's see. Let's go ahead and check its moves. Okay, it has faint attack. So let's go ahead and give Shedder a chance right here. Now, if it seems that I'm lost, it is it is because I'm lost, guys, because it's been a while. So bear with me. You know, sometimes Draven likes to take a break because, you know, of, uh, you know, his busy lifestyle and all that stuff. So here we go. Faint attack. And the faint attack does the trick. There we go. Alrighty. And just like that, Shedder's Moxie is kicking in. And, uh, well, let's see, he's gonna come out with a sand dial. Let's continue on right here with, uh, with Shedder. Now, I completely forgot that Shedder does have that, uh, Moxie. And, 
Wow, seriously? Okay, brick break for the win, and here comes the swagger. Okay, I don't get you, man. You intimidate me, lower my stuff, but you hide my thing. I just don't get Pokemon anymore. So here we go. Confused. Good gravy. All right, so we're going to get hit pretty hard. Luckily for us, we did get ourselves a revive just in case. And this guy is really, really, you know, pissing me off. And well, here comes Brick Drake for the win. That's right. That is right. And Moxie tightens up our stuff yet again. But yeah, I think that was the last Pokemon. Yeah, it was. Okay. Let's move on. Uh, have you used the elevator? If you get on the elevator, you can figure out where you haven't been, right? That is true, and well, let's go down here. Again, this is like the first time I'm going on this. Maybe the second time, because I do have an extra copy of Pokemon, uh, what was it called? Like Pokemon White 2, Black 2, and, uh, you know, it's been, it's, been a, it's been a hot minute since I've actually played this, and yes, I can hear my phone just binging and pinging and all that stuff, and, well, let's see. I'm trying to find trainers. Come on, guys. If you want to battle the champ, find you. I'm going to find you in here. Oh, wow. Huh. Well, you don't see that every single day. Okay, never mind. Well, <laughs> I did not know. I really did not know. Okay, so let's prepare for this because I kind of feel like a... Huh. Oh, Draven's been a little, a little too lucky right here. So let's see. Let's give a super potion to some of these Pokemon, and well, Shatter's the only one that needs it. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on Clay. Huh? <laughs> Kept me waiting, didn't you, kid? All right, time to see what you can do. Okay, guys. So here it is, gym battle number five: Gym Leader Draven versus Gym Leader Clay. I am the gym leader of nothing right now. And, well, Clay is coming out with his Crocker Rock. This Pokemon right here, level 31, it is a uh, pretty intimidating Pokemon because if it does have it, yes it does, it will take away some of your attack. And, well, luckily for us, we do have Razor Shell. We do have... We do have an advantage right here. We just need we just need to know how to use it and all that crap. But here comes the Razor Shell attack. And because of Torment, I believe I can't use the next move. Or I can't use Torment again. So let's go right ahead and go with a Fury Cutter. It's still a Bug-type attack. Should do the trick. Here we go. And Fury Cutter does its trick. And we are getting some... Uh, yes, we are getting some healing right here. Okay, so Fury Cutter is going to get a little... Okay, yes. Let's go back to Razor Shell. Hyper Potion coming back. Its defense has gone down just a tad bit. So here we go, Razor Shell. For the win, and look at that. Razor Shell does its trick. Yeah, look at that. All right, okay. And Desert Storm grows to level 30. And we're getting a little bit of HP, thanks to our Shell Bell right there. Get it, Shell Bell, to our Pokemon. And, well, he is coming out with a Sand Slash. And this is a new one right here. Sand Slash is a very, very fast Pokemon. And crap, Baskets on a crap school stick. We can't use the uh, tank that we were supposed to. So let's go straight to Gigalith. Now, I do believe Sand Slash does have a cover-up move. Rock slide and all that stuff, and thankfully we don't get hit by that. And uh, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go with a little bit of side beam right here. That's right. Feel the force of my side beam. And here comes a crush claw. And let's see, let's see. You know what? Let's go with side beam. Okay, we're gonna take a risk. We're gonna try and battle this Pokemon with high attack and all that crud. And here comes another crush claw. Thankfully, it's not like a type in disadvantage or anything like that. So here we go. Good lift. For the win, hopefully. And there we go, Gigalith. Yeah, don't talk about it. Be about it, Gigalith. And here comes Excadrill. Now, this Pokemon right here, you guys already know. It's one of my favorite Pokemon that I've ever used because it has both ground and uh, which you might call it typing. Yes, ground and steel. And it is a very fast Pokemon right here. So, we're going to try and weaken it down. Chances are we might not beat Excadrill with uh, with the Shatter, but we can actually try it and we can just a tad bit, but here comes the Metal Claw, and that right there messes us up. And, well, that was super effective. Okay, crap baskets, okay. So, let's go right ahead and use another Brick Break, hopefully. Okay, so we get her. Okay, Excadrill, you've won this battle. Thankfully, you did not increase any kind of points. Let's go straight to our good old buddy, Sigh of the Torrent. And, well, let's see. 
We're not faster than them, but we can definitely use Razor Shell. And here comes the Rock Slide attack, and uh, that right there nearly misses up, but here comes Razor Shell, and it does it! Throwing at the peace sign, guys. I am throwing out that mother grabbing peace sign. And there it is. We grow to level 32. Clay, how's it feel to fail? Man, oh man. Yeah, it feels good to see that. Okay. Whew. You're really something. Little whippersnapper trainers who peck a real punch keep showing up one after another. Hm. Here, take this. And just like that, guys. I am throwing out the peace sign yet again because we got ourselves our fifth badge. Again, Clay, how's the field to fail? The king returns yet again, and we got three more badges to go. Look at that. All right, cool, cool, cool. So this is your fifth badge, huh? If, if that's so, Pokemon up to level 60 will obey you. Here, take this too. And we grab ourselves the TM78 Bulldoze. Okay. Looking around. Well, I suppose come this way. This way. Now, I, again, I got lucky with this whole trying to find Clay thing. I really, really got lucky. I thought I was going to battle like five more trainers, but I was completely wrong. Yeah, okay. Good dance are crucial for, uh, for putting on a good show. Wait, what are you talking about? Um, okay, I'm probably forgetting something. <laughs> and would you look at that? Hughes looking at me. He's like, you got a gym badge too? I knew you could do it. You know, my partners are the reason I was able to get that badge. But I'm sure there was more connecting us to uh, each other than Pokeballs. If that's all there is, the stolen per uh, the, stolen, the stolen purloin feelings will never be that what they were. Oh, so you two sports know each other, huh? Yeah, but they met, so I want to show you something. Wait, I just remembered, Clay. Why? What's the what's the reason? Why have you forgiven Team Plasma? There's always room for folks to uh, grow and change, ain't there? And if you only go after that what you think is right, you might end up rejecting all thoughts and opinions other than uh, your own. That that's mighty dangerous. Hmm. Is that one of those comp uh, compromises adults are supposed to make? Whatever. I'm gonna fight Team Plasma. Oh yeah. What are you gonna? What do you wanting to show us? You ever heard of the Pokemon World Tournament? Trainers from all over the world gather on uh, up to see who's the toughest, or who's the toughest. Well then, I'll be waiting for you at the south end of the town. Yeah, the Pokemon World Tournament, oh, that's pretty new. A tournament to decide who's the strongest, huh? Right on! It's time for uh, uh, special training. Special training, okay, all right. Well, uh, for me, I am going to go to the Pokemon Center because, well, you know, we need to heal up our Pokemon and all that crud. But before we leave, let's go right ahead and take a look at our badges. Look at that, five badges in all. We got three more to go. Cannot wait to take on Isis because, well, wait, that's not Isis. Well, you know what I mean, guys. I can't wait to take on her because she's annoying AF. So, with that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being patient and all that stuff. If you guys want to make a small donation to the channel, yes, right there. The link is in the description below. I will see you guys in the next episode as we go to the Pokemon World Tournament. See you guys.